You see people helping people that have good credit. Well, I'm the person that's gonna help people that have bad credit. Day one of starting an e-commerce and food truck business. Remember, uh, make sure you pick your name. Make sure you pick what type of food you want. Make sure you go prep. Uh, prep it and taste it, have people taste your food, uh, make sure it's good before you put it on the market, make sure you have a good product. Day one of starting a e-com business in food truck. My name is Benji Richards Marketing, and on this series, I'm going to document starting a food truck. Also, I am going to connect a e-commerce business with the food truck. So basically, I'm showing you how to start an e-com business and my pre-order method for a food truck in 2024. So if you're looking to start a food truck uh, business and you don't have no credit, bad credit, or no job, or no money, this video is for you because I'm going to help you start a food truck with zero to no money. Also, if you're looking to start an e-commerce brand, I'm going to show you how you can private label and start your own e-commerce brand in 2024. Uh, if you want to know more about me, I am Benji Richards Market, also known as Benji Tankard. Uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur, but I help people like you start growing and scale businesses online. Uh, I have a food truck, of course. I have uh, two-row cars, of course. I ain't one of them gurus. I ain't got a hundred grand. I ain't got no credit. I do get bad credit. I do all my stuff cash. I don't deal with drugs. Uh, I just deal with hard work, hard work and hustle to get things done. And I want to share this because I don't see this a lot on the internet. You see people helping people that have good credit. Well, I'm the person that's going to help people that have bad credit because I don't have good credit. I actually just pay somebody a thousand dollars to help me fix my credit. And he says it's going to take over six months to a year to fix, but I'm excited for the journey. But let's get straight to it. On this video, we're going to talk about uh, starting an e-commerce business and food truck business in 2024. I'm going to give you the first few steps to how you're going to get started and how I'm already doing it and I'm documenting this process. This right here is my food truck, but ultimately I need another food truck. And I'm starting on a zero budget to save for this food truck. And my goal is to purchase a new food truck within the next four months. So it's gonna cost me $15,000 for a custom food truck from China. Uh, I may show you guys on the video somewhere, but ultimately it's gonna cost uh, $15,000. I'm gonna save 20 because I already know how this go. I've imported food trucks from China before. Uh, and then also I'm starting an e-commerce business with my food truck because I do real good with getting bookings for my food truck. But now I'm going to sell an e-commerce product. I'm going to make a DIY funnel cake kit. You can see that right here. Uh, me and my kids came up with this concept. Uh, we're gonna sell funnel cake kits <laughs> and do it, do, do it through Shopify and make thousands of dollars. And we're also going to uh, start a new food truck. Um, or purchase a new food truck. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can save for one if you have bad credit, no credit, no money. Um, but first thing what you need to do is you need to figure out what kind of food truck you would like to start. Uh, I decided and I think you should start a funnel cake food truck or a lemonade food truck. A reason being in 2024, food prices have gone up. So chicken, grease, seafood all those types of uh, expensive food and fine dining it is very expensive and then labor has also went up so the two things that you need have went up i didn't want to have to opt in to start purchasing food at a very high value uh so what i end up doing is um what i end up doing is i end up to start selling funnel cakes and lemonade reason being a funnel cake will cost you 25 cents uh, per funnel cake because all you're using is powder in order to make it and then when it comes to fresh, fresh squeezed lemonade that may cost you about i think a dollar per cup i actually need to do more math on it because i've seen it all over tiktok so i've been selling it but i was selling it for like three dollars or a cheaper amount or whatever but uh in 2024 i'm increasing the price to six dollars for a 32 ounce lemonade and also my funnel cake prices have went up in the fried oreos and then remember you guys i mentioned that i am going to start selling the funnel cake kit on Shopify. So yeah, my ultimate goal is to use the money that I make from the Shopify pre-orders of getting a funnel cake kit to use that to purchase the food truck. And ultimately that is my pre-order, my uh, food truck pre-order method that I would like to share with you guys in 2024. No one's talked about this, no one's done this. I did this for my first couple food trucks. I sold e-commerce products and used the money for it, but I didn't document it. So now I'm documenting the process of how I'm going to sell e-commerce products to fund 
my food truck business and get started. So first thing I wanna ask you is, what is your food truck gonna be called and what products are you gonna sell? Mine is Funnel Cake and Lemonade and also it's called Fair Food Heavy. So uh, you can work on that by yourself. Uh, I'm gonna keep the video going. So after you have the name of your food truck, after you have um, uh, the name of your food truck, after you have the name of your food truck, and after you have what kind of food that you are going to sell, uh, I would first suggest you get into the kitchen and start making plates, start making samples of the actual food that you would like to sell. Because a lot of people get into the food truck industry and it's not what they, make it seem to be a lot of people get into e-commerce and it's not what they make it seem to be you know what i mean so i'm going to break down e-commerce breaking uh doing shopify store and the process that i took to get to this point uh moving forward uh and i'm gonna share every step of the way with you guys so um yeah so make sure make sure you do get i forgot where i was at man so uh so as I was saying, make sure you test out your food, make sure you make plates, make sure you try to uh, sell your food at pop-up events. So that way, you know this is what you want to do or the work that you want to put in. Because sometimes, even myself, I, in my food truck, I go to a food truck event and I pay to be a part of it and it rains. Or I pay to be a part of it and no one comes. You know, that still costs you food, time, and workers. So just make sure there's something you want to get into. Um, and then also, when it comes to e-commerce, make sure you have the product or a trending product or something you know that is going to sell. Uh, I chose a funnel cake kit because I don't see anybody making a funnel cake kit. And I could go on uh, Alibaba or DHgate or CJ Dropshipping and find me a product that I could sell and drop ship or find me a product that I could brand. But I actually want to brand my own product because I already branded my own food truck. So I wanted to make my food truck and my e-commerce brand be coincide together. So if you guys uh, want to know what the brand is, it's Fair Food Heaven. We don't have a... Uh, um, we don't have a social media right now on TikTok because I lost the account login and we do have one on Facebook. So follow us on Facebook. Uh, but I will be creating a new uh, TikTok during the series of showing you guys how to start a um, e-commerce and food truck business uh, because I want to do a launch and everything. So hope that, hope that helped you guys. Hope that helped you guys for the first video of day one of starting an e-commerce and food truck business remember uh make sure you pick your name uh next ne make sure you pick what type of food you want uh next make sure you go prep uh prep it and taste it have people taste your food uh, make sure it's good before you put it on the market you make sure you have a good product that's also for your e-commerce sure you have a good product and then number four make sure you attend pop-up shops to make sure the market actually wants what you have to offer because if no one wants what you have to offer you don't want to spend all this money on the food truck you don't want to go into debt you don't want to start saving and no one wants what you have to offer so i hope you like this video if you want more content like this follow my youtube at money moves marketing and manhood and then also follow me on tiktok at benji rich is marketing and on instagram at benji rich is marketing for more content like this and i do have a community if you're looking to get more behind the scenes uh more one-on-one -on -one, uh questions answered about starting a food truck business make sure you join my community um uh content to cash university uh why i help people start growing scale businesses online period so uh that can be food truck or e-commerce or even just marketing your business getting more customers and more sales in 2024 i hope this video helped you i hope you get to the next level and join me soon for part two of this series of uh starting a e-commerce and a food truck business in 2024 let's go